Welcome to the course Geology and Soil Mechanics. So, uh, today in the lecture we will be talking about the classification of soils, soil structure and clay mineralogy. So, first we will uh, see that how to classify the soil and what for we need the classification of soil. Otherwise, what will happen if we do not classify the soil. Now, what is the classification of soil and what is the objective of classification of soil? The sorting of soils into groups each of which would show similar behavior is the objective of soil classification. Now, the soil classification basically will tell you will I mean making the group of particular type of soil which will tell you okay, this soil will be behaving very similar to this soil because they are coming to the same group or this group will be behaving as completely different uh, behavior or different uh, say uh, characteristics it will show than the other group. So, this is the basic objective because you are sorting out the soil based on some scientific way. Now, any soil classification system must provide us with information about the probable engineering behavior of soil. Now, any soil classification system, there are several classification system available in the world. So, uh, any soil classification system if you if you think of or if you look at they should provide okay, the information about the probable engineering behavior. Engineering behavior means uh, whether the soil is having plasticity or whether the soil is uh, having uh, some organic characteristics or whether the soil is having some uh, uh, I mean kind of uh, say questionless or fine grained or the coarse grained or the uh, uh, sticky kind of nature. So, those kind of properties will be getting from the soil classification system and this information must be provided or must I mean the soil classification system must provide these informations. Now, there are several as I told you there are several soil classification system available in the world though I mean uh, we can we know that uh, the first one is unified soil classification system which is known as USCS. Then we have American Association of State Highway and Transport Officials system that is known as ASTHO system and we have Indian Standard Soil Classification system ISSCS. So, we will not be concentrating on the other uh, two classification system. So, we will not be considering first two classification system because uh, these are international classification system rather we will be concentrating more on the third category that is Indian Standard Soil Classification System that is ISSCS and we will see the uh, I mean the detailed analysis or the detailed step by step uh, calculation or the analysis for Indian Standard Soil Classification System. Now, the major soil groups because Indian Standard Soil Classification System is as per IS 1498 1970. So, this says the major soil groups and subgroups along with the corresponding prefix and suffix that are used in ISCS are shown in table below. Now, what is this prefix and what is this suffix? What does it mean actually? So, we have several prefix say gravel it is known as say uh, G it will be uh, denoted as D, G, sand will be denoted as S, silt will be denoted as M clay will be denoted as C, organic soil will be denoted as O and P2 will be denoted as PT. Okay. So, these terminology or these terms will be always coming as prefix. So, we will we'll, we'll discuss this thing then it will be more clear why uh, what is prefix and what is suffix anyway. Now, this is basically the group of soil and the subgroups is basically whether it is well graded then it will be denoted as W whether it is poorly graded then it will be denoted as P, whether it is silty then it will be denoted as M, whether it is clay it will be denoted as C and if the uh, water content that is a liquid limit at water content I mean water content at liquid limit that is uh, W L 
if if WL is less than 35 percent then it will be classified as L, if it is between 35 and 50 then it will be classified as I and if it is greater than 50 then it will be classified as H. So, what does it mean? If liquid limit is less than 35 percent it is low plastic soil it is generally known as low plastic soil. If it is between 35 and 50 then it will be intermediate plasticity or intermediate plastic soil and then uh, if it is more than 50 uh, then it will be uh, known as highly plastic soil. So, now from this table we have got the idea that there are different terminologies or different say uh, prefix and suffix. Now, how to arrange this prefix and suffix that will be more clear if we take or if we talk about this. Now, description of gravel and sand. Now, if I say if, if my soil is gravelly soil and if the gravelly soil is well graded and by this time we know what is well graded sample, what is poorly graded sample. So, those things are quite clear to us at this moment. So, if I have well graded gravel then the prefix will be G as we have seen in the table the prefix will be G and your suffix will be W. So, we have got G W, G W will be considered as well graded gravel. Similarly, if you have poorly graded gravel that means you have the gravelly soil, but that is poorly graded then of course, the prefix will be what G fine and what will be suffix P. So, G P will be denoting that poorly graded gravel. So, if you have poorly graded gravel it will be comp it will be totally uh, denoted as G P. Similarly, you have silty gravel. So, gravel which is having which is mixed with some silt. So, it is silty gravel. So, that will be denoted as G M why not M G? because if you recall the table that silty part will be coming as suffix whereas gravelly part will be coming as prefix. So, in silty gravel basically you have got G M similarly clay gravel will be always G C. Similarly, these are the categories for gravel now coming to the sand if you have oil graded sand it will be classified as S W then poorly graded sand S P then silty sand S M clay sand SC. So, now I hope you have understood what is the business of suffix, what is the business of prefix. Okay. Now, the description of clay. So, if you have inorganic, inorganic silt with liquid limit less than 35 percent then that will be classified as ML. Now, M is coming as prefix whereas, L is coming as suffix. Now, why it is ML? Because you are dealing with inorganic silt fine. So, that is why the M is coming as I told you for silt it will be M, for clay it will be C, for gravel it will be G, for sand it will be S. Now, you are dealing with inorganic silt. So, that is why the prefix has come as M and at the same time you are dealing with the low plastic silt. So, that is why your uh, your L I mean W L that is the liquid limit value is less than 35 percent and that is why the suffix is L. Similarly, if you are dealing with inorganic clay with what uh, liquid limit less than 35 percent then it will be classified as C L. Similarly, if you are dealing with organic soil with liquid limit less than 35 percent then O L then inorganic silt with W L greater than 50 percent it will be MH. That means, you are dealing with inorganic silt that is fine that is that is for that you have got the prefix as M whereas, you are dealing with highly plastic soil. So, that is why H is coming into the picture. So, uh, the notation will be MH. Similarly, if you are dealing with inorganic clay with WL greater than 50 percent then it should be classified as or it should be denoted as CH. Then organic soil with WL greater than 50 percent it will be OH and if you are dealing with peat, so that is PT that is all. So, I hope at this moment you have understood the notation that is how the if I have this kind of soil what should be the notation and uh, how to fix the suffix and prefix. Now, division of soil fraction on the basis of grain size this is as per Indian standard soil classification system. So, if you see the boulder is basically uh, anything is greater than 300 millimeter size is classified as boulder. 
So, this is the category as boulder. Now, anything any met any particle or any say soil uh, if you do the gradation and after gradation if you get this kind of say uh, uh, gradation thing or the retained on say particular seed then basically 80 to 300 millimeter that will be classified or that will be known as cobble. Then you have gravel. So, gravel basically there are two different say category one is the coarse gravel another one is the fine gravel. So, coarse gravel is spanning from 20 to 80 millimeter size whereas, fine gravel is spanning from 4.75 to 20 millimeter size and that is why you, you might remember that we, we did the sieve analysis based on two categories one is the gravel fraction and another is the fine fraction something like that where we consider 4.75 millimeter sieve as the separator. Okay. Then we have sand. Okay. Sand is also having three categories one is coarse, medium and fine. So, coarse sand is spanning from 2 millimeter to 4.75 millimeter, then medium sand is spanning from 4.4 to 5 millimeter to 2 millimeter and then fine sand is spanning from 0 0.075 millimeter to 0.425 millimeter that is 75 micron to 425 micron. Similarly, we have fine grain soil. So, now now you have uh, now it is very clear to you how to classify. So, boulder is something different, cobble is something different. Then we have coarse grained gravel, coarse grained soil where coarse in the coarse grained soil category we have gravel and sand. And then we have another category that is fine grained soil under this head we have silt and clay uh, it is basically 0 0.075 millimeter. Okay. So, we have seen uh, the preliminary things for the soil classification system particularly the Indian soil classification system and we have seen what is coarse grained, what is fine grained now it is very clear to you. Now, in the next lecture we will be talking more about the soil classification system as uh, how we can proceed to get the actual classification of or the groupism, groupism of the soil. Thank you very much.